Hello there and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at Andres Vesalius, who studied anatomy during the Renaissance. As always, there's a free handout in the description below and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history revision content. Let's get to the details. Andres Vesalius studied anatomy in both Italy and France during the Renaissance. And his book, A Fabric of the Human Body, is one of the most important texts to come from that period. Vesalius is important because he was able to prove Galen wrong. Galen had been the basis of medical knowledge for 1500 years. Vesalius was able to prove that Galen's ideas about the human body were in fact incorrect. For example, Vesalius was able to prove that the jawbone was just one bone, whereas Galen believed it was two. Vesalius believed that the breastbone and the chest were made up of three different bones, whereas Galen believed it was five. Vesalius was also able to prove that there were no invisible channels in the heart like Galen believed, which would pass blood through the heart. Vesalius was able to prove that these didn't exist. By doing this, not only just proving Galen factually wrong, he encouraged other people in the Renaissance to challenge Galen's ideas for themselves and to try and push what we knew about the human body to the extremes. Just relying on Galen was no longer good enough because as Vesalius had proven, he was wrong. Vesalius is also important because as I mentioned earlier, his book. His book, The Fabric of the Human Body, is important for two reasons. The first reason is that Vesalius employed artists, very famous and talented artists, to illustrate his book. The reason why Vesalius did that is because he wanted his book to show the human body as precisely as possible. Thereby, by hiring artists to do so, we have some of the most accurate representations of the human body to come out of the Renaissance. The second reason why the fabric of the human body is so important is it's one of the first books which utilise the printing press. By having his book printed on the printing press, several copies were able to be produced very cheaply. This meant that Vesalius's work spread around Europe very quick because the cost of books was now considerably cheaper thanks to the printing press. As a result, Vesalius's ideas, not only proving Galen wrong, but encouraging doctors to challenge Galen, spread around Europe and we start to see several people in, in the Renaissance make further contributions to medicine. Join me in the next video where we'll be taking a look at Ambrose Pare and his work on surgery. I'll see you there.